こんにちはっつおーで今日はですねまあ昨日どうよ<笑>っていうか<笑>まあ最近やってる通りまあフリートーク形式で質問きつつ音読ライブっていうのをやっていこうと思いますで今日はですねパワーオンイングリッシュの2ですねちょっとま,あまた文字反転してると思うんですけどまあ2をやりたいと、まあ、昨日一昨日が1だったんでまあこれはまあ高2の時に僕が使ってた教科書ですでその反転のことなんですけどこれちょっと直そうと思っててそれな他にその反転しないでライブできる方法をちょっと探してるんで、まあ、それが見つかり次第直るんですけどそれ見つかんなかったらずっとこの反転した状態のままでライブやることになるんですけどねっていう話がありつつなのでまあ今日もいつも通り質問あったらすぐまあ、何でも答えるんでっていう感じですかね。まあ別に音読と質問同じぐらいなのメイン、どっちもメインなんで、どっちが音読優先するとかそういうこと話じゃないんでね、質問来た時点で、まあ、気づいた時点で返していきたいと思います。まあ何でもいいんでね、質問は。<笑>僕に関することで、答えられることであれば。っていうのをとりあえず、まあ、やっていこうと思いますはいで今日はほいろんなアクセントやるかなまた気が向いたらやるかもしれないですけど、まあ、基本的には僕はわかんないオーストラリアかアメリカかどっちか自分でわかんないですけど<笑>まあどっちかのアクセントは読んでると思いますイギリスアクセント僕はないんでね多分っていう感じです Lesson one, what, it, what day is today? 今のオーストラリアだね。<笑> There are many different calendars around the world because some people want to use their own calendars to preserve their traditional customs. For example, in Malaysia, people can enjoy four different New Year's days. The first one is based on the Western calendar, the second one is on the lunar calendar, and the third one on the Hindu calendar. And the fourth one on the Islamic calendar. The Western calendar is the global calendar. The first year of their calendar is the year when Christ was born. In some countries that are not Christian, however, the on calendars are more important. The Islamic calendar starts in 622 AD. This is when Muhammad moved from Mecca to Medina. His move to Medina is called the Hijra, so the Islamic calendar is called the Hijra calendar. Since it is based on lunar movement, a month has 29 or 30 days. There are 12 months in a year and 354 days, 354 days in a year. A leap year is used for adjustments. Because the Islamic religious holidays are set according to the Hijra calendar, they fall on different days each year in the Western calendar. This is very complicated, however. Local people think it is convenient to use the Hijala calendar in everyday life. Many people, many people in various Asian countries continue to use lunar calendars along with other calendars. Many Chinese people still use their lunar calendar and some count their ages their age this way. When the lunar New Year's New Year comes around, they add a year to their age. In Korea, celebrations follow the lunar calendar. But because of the many Christians and Buddhists there, the birthdays of Jesus and Buddha are both national holidays. Japan adopted the Western calendar in 1873, but people in some parts of Japan still celebrate the Bon Festival according to the Chinese lunar calendar. What day is today depends on the religion or culture of the person you ask. このポイント R の発音もさ、オーストラリアとアメリカで結構違いますよね。アメリカだともっと、パーって感じで、パーソン。もうできないけどね、パーソン。オーストラリアはパーソンになるよね。もっとなんか平たい感じの。Lesson 2: Would you like a cup of tea? カップオブティームカッパだけどね。オーストラリアだとね。Would you like a cup of tea?What kind of tea do you think of? 
What kind of tea do you think of when you hear the word tea? Japanese green tea, English black tea, or China's Chinese oolong tea. There are many kinds of tea. It is said that there are more than a thousand kinds of tea exist in China. For example, oolong tea alone has many types. However, all these kinds of tea come from the same tea tree. They are just made in different ways. If you want to make green tea, steam or roast the leaves soon after you pick them. Fermentation is not necessary. Oolong tea is made through incomplete fermentation, while black tea, often simply called tea, is made through complete fermentation. When did people begin to drink tea? One story tells us that a Chinese emperor around 2700 BC was the first person to drink tea. The emperor was taking the rest under the tea, under a tree, tea of a tree, and boiling some water to drink. It happened to be a tea tree, and some of the leaves fell into the pot of boiling water. The emperor drank that water and seemed to like it. That is how tea drinking began. The custom of drinking green tea come, came from China. Dr tea drinking in Japan started when Japanese Buddhist monks brought tea from China around the 9th century. In the Edo era, tea became popular with a number of people in Japan. Tea is wonderful for keeping your health in good condition, said SI, one of the most famous Buddhist monks of the Kamakura era. You may wonder whether it is true or not. It seems that studies on the effects of green tea agree with SI. They show that the cut gene in green tea has an anti-cancer action and a strong effect on influenza. They also report that cut gene can control high blood pressure. In, ad in addition, the studies claim that green tea is good for weight control, anti-aging, and healthy teeth. Some doctors say that gargling with green tea is very effective in preventing colds. Now, don't you like a cup of tea? 結構オーストラリアアクセントを意識しての音読ですね、今のはね。アメリカアクセント,アメリカアクセントね、でも前昔ツイキャスでその自分がよくやってた時に、そのアメリカ人の人が来た時、俺アメリカアクセントもうないっていうふうに聞いたら、もうないねって言われたんで<笑>、もうないのかもしれない。でもなんかオーストラリアにいるなんかデンマークの人とか友達とかと話すときはいやオーストラリアアクセントないよねっていうふうに言われるんでよくわかんないよね自分が何やどんなアクセントあんのか,だか自分がだからできる限りなアメリカアクセントでこのレッスンは読みますねレッスン33だね<笑>なんで発音まで間違えない沖縄は cultural crossroads in Japan 沖縄 differs in many ways, ways from other parts of Japan. It is made up of more than, more, more than 160 islands. These islands stretch for, 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 I don't know, stretch for 1300, 1300, 1300 kilometers. Between the islands of Kyushu and Taiwan. As all the islands are in a subtropical zone, you can enjoy a deep blue sky, emerald green seas, and beautiful coral reefs that can seldom be found elsewhere, elsewhere, where, elsewhere in Japan. Okinawa is sometimes, 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 オープクナがトーアミだけどちょっと今の誇張しすぎだけどねアメリカただタイムじゃないサムタイムズサムタイムズサムタイムズコーコールディガルパイオスオブディイースト because 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 か because if you if you are lucky you can see rare creatures move about such as ヤンバルクイーナイリオモテヤマクネコアンデューゴンズ難しいな。Since it is close to China, China and, and, and Southeast Asia, 
Okinawa has had a long trading history with these regions for centuries. The commercial ties has brought, a, brought great cultural influences to Okinawa as well. Some typical examples can be found in found can be found in the can be found in traditional traditional dancing, music, martial arts, architecture and so on. For example, Shui Castle is very much like an old Chinese castle. The Okinawan culture has developed under the influence of China, Southeast Asia and Japan. That is how the culture culture er uh, culture of Okinawa is called Champuri Bunka or mixed culture. The most popular home cooking home cooking is the ING no tomo sono Australia dato G Yomanakata is in cooking the N de Wari. Ma America the mo G Yomana chicky are tomo masked on so no to be mina mino ho cooking NG no otoga cooking is thus called champu because it is a mix of many kinds of food. If Okinawa were not part of were not a part of Japan, 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 Japanese culture would be less diverse diverse. <laughs> Okinawa is unique to unique in various ways. What Wise, 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 wise. Various ways. So many people like to visit or even move there. There. Move there. However. 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 Okinawa should not be looked at only as an interesting place or, or a delightful resort. It has a sad history. Up until the 17th century. Okinawa had been enjoying a peaceful existence as an independent kingdom from the Edo era to the end of World War II. World War. World, World War II. Okinawa was a part of Japan. Some 200,000 lives were lost on these islands during. During. This is Dara assume assume the assume in Narashi Gis Australia that to do mo ju to ka so in a jute you to nanda during the kedo during the war 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 that to igiriska furthermore 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 most of Okinawa's cultural heritage was destroyed after the war it has it became a sub- semi colonial island of the United States. It was only in 1972 that Okinawa came back to Japan. Some aspects of Japanese culture originally come from China, Southeast Asia, and even farther down south, up through Okinawa. Japan is no doubt a multicultural nation. One way to realize this is to visit Okinawa. You can experience the subtropical climate, enjoy the food and drinks, and observe the Okinawan lifestyle. You will certainly find yourself at a cultural crossroads. You will see many cultures mixed there. Very nice, ne? Okin American accent. Mo Australia accent, or mo Shizen na yomi kata ni motoshimasu. Mo ishiki suite waka gara. Lesson four: A dream to reproduce a real starry sky. Have you ever look, used binoculars to look at stars in a planetarium? In November 2004, one planetarium projector was recognized in Guinness World Records as the world's most advanced planetarium projector. The stars were so, ti- are so tiny and precise that by using binoculars, you can enjoy the beautiful sight. The projector was created by a young Japanese man, Ohiro Takayuki. Ohiro became interested in stars when he was in the fourth grade, one day he bought some luminous paint, painted many small pieces of paper, and put them like stars on the walls of his room. Turning off the lights, he was greatly moved. 
the bits of paper were shining like stars. He had created he had created starry sky in his very own room. Since then, he has been building plant and projectors. When Ohio was in high school, he went to Australia. Australia, 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 the Milky Way looked like a real, real liver. It was filled with many tiny stars that could not be seen clearly. Impressed by the great number of stars in the Milky Way, he decided to show the tiny stars by recreating a beautiful sky with a planetary projector. Oh, he entered, entered college in 1988. He spent all his college years completing his planetary projector. To reproduce many, the many tiny stars, he created an created an original machine to make small holes, which were about one-fifth of a hair's diameter. In 1999-1991, he finally completed his projector. What if planetariums could planetariums could reproduce one million stars in in 1998? at the International Planetarium Society Conference in London. Ohio began his speech with these words. Until then, almost all projectors could only show about 10,000 stars. At the conference, Ohio introduced his unique planetarium projector, which reproduced 1 million stars. The name of, name of it was Megastar. Ohio was only 29 years old at the time. あったタイムはその時ってことだ。あったモーメントは今ってことなんだよね。おはようございます。It was his first presentation in English. He spoke slowly but clearly. Everyone was surprised to see the great number of stars shown by Megastar and to know that Ohira had made it all by himself. After his presentation, the audience applauded widely. Oh, he is now pursuing further possibilities with Megastar. He's thinking of working with people in the fields of art, music, and digital images. At Expo 2005 IG, a message from Tezuka Osan was shown against a starry sky created with Megastar 2, which can show 5 million stars. Megastar's sky of stars is exactly like what I saw in space, said Mori Mamoru who has traveled in space twice. Oh, he always had a dream to reproduce a realistic sky with a planetarium projector, which seemed an impossible dream for one person alone. His success sends us an important message. If you believe in something, you can achieve it. Reading one, going home. They were going to Florida. There were six of them, three boys and three girls, and they got on the bus with sandwiches and wine. But sandwich was a Australia no tango da sanga da ne. Tashka ne. Sanga te wa te wakan ne. They were dreaming of golden beaches as the grey, cold spring of New York vanished behind them. Vingo was on the bus from the beginning. They began to notice that Vingo never moved. He sat in front of the young people, his dusty face hiding his age, dressed in a plain brass suit that did not fit him. He sat in complete silence. Deep into the night, the bus put into a restaurant and, and every, everybody got off the bus, except Vingo. The young people began to wonder about him, trying to imagine his life. Perhaps he was a sea captain, maybe he had run away from his wife. He could be an old soldier going home. When they went back to the bus, one of the girls sat behind, beside him 
and introduced herself. We are going to Florida, the girl said brightly. Are you going that far? I don't know, Vingo said. I've never been there, she said. I hear it's beautiful. It is, he said quietly. You live there. I was there in the Navy in Jacksonville. Want some wine, she said. He smiled and took a drink from the bottle. He thanked her and fell again into his silence. After a while, she went back to the others as Vingo fell asleep. In the morning, they awoke outside another restaurant and this time Vingo went in. The girl asked him to join them. He seemed very shy and ordered black coffee and smoked nervously. As the young people talked, when they went back on the bus, the girl sat with Vingo again. After a while, slowly and painfully, he began to tell his story. He had been in jail in New York for the last four years. For the last four years. And now he is going home. Are you, are you married? I don't know. You don't know, she said. Well, when I was in jail, I wrote to my wife. I said, Martha, I understand if you can't stay married to me. I said I was going to be away a long time and... And that if she couldn't stand it, if the kids kept asking questions, if it hurt her too much. Well, she could just forget me. Get a new guy and she's a wonderful woman. And I forget about me. I told her she didn't have to write me or anything. And she didn't. Not for three and a half years. And you're going home now. Although you haven't heard anything yet. He said shyly, well, last week when I was sure I'd leave jail, I wrote her. I told her that if she had a new guy, I understood. understood. But if she didn't, if she did take me back, she should let me know. We used to live in Brunswick, and there's a great big oak tree, just as you come into town. As I told her, if she'd take me back, she should put a yellow handkerchief on the tree and I'd get off and come home. If she didn't want me, forget it. No handkerchief and I'd keep going. Wow, okay, the girl said, wow. She told the others and soon not all of them were excited, waiting for Brunswick and looking out at the pictures Vingo showed them of his wife and three children. Now they were 20 miles away, 20 miles from Brunswick. And the young people took over the window seats and on the right side, waiting for the great oak, great oak tree. Vingo stopped looking out and he seemed to be getting ready for a great disappointment. They was 10 miles and then 5 and the bus became very quiet. They Then suddenly, all of the young people were out of, up out of their seats, screaming and shouting and crying. crying doing small dances, shaking fists in triumph and delight. Vingo sat there, amazed, looking at the oak tree. It was covered with yellow handkerchiefs, 20 of them, 30 of them, maybe hundreds. The tree stood like a flock of welcome, blowing blew in, blew in the wind. As the young people shouted, Vingo slowly rose from his seat, holding himself tightly, and made him way to the front of the bus to go home. Lesson 6 Water and Living Things If you weigh 60 kilograms, the amount of water in your body is 42 kilograms. Water is the most important substance in the human body. Water makes up about 70% of your body weight. The human body is like a water bag. If you lose even 1 or 2% of your body's water, you feel thirsty. You feel very thirsty. If you lose 5% of the water, your skin shrinks and you find it hard to move your muscles and you cannot think clearly. You die if you lose more than 10% of your body's water. Without water, you can survive only for a few days. To stay healthy, you need to take in at least 2 liters of water every day. You absorb about half this amount by drinking water and the other liquids. Milk is 87% water. Eating food lets you absorb additional water. Potatoes are 80% water. 
Raw saline steak is 56% water. And bread is 38% water. Solid foods gives you about a third of the water your body needs. In addition, our body itself produces the rest of the water necessary for it. Then it has to get rid of wastewater. It removes the wastewater as urine. Some water also passes out of your body as water vapor and as sweat. Different animals have different water requirements. A camel, for example, can go to an entire winter without drinking any water. When a camel needs water, its body begins to burn the fat in its hump. Hump. If it cannot get any water from its surroundings, this produces water to keep the camel alive until it can drink. Another animal that needs little water is a kangaroo rat. It is a small desert animal that hops like a kangaroo on its long powerful back legs. It seldom drinks water. It eats dry seeds and other foods with little water. If loses, it loses hardly any water through its wetting. When you look at the world map, you can see a huge amount of water on it. It covers almost 70% of the Earth's surface. It looks, like, looks as if you had enough drinking water. However, almost all the Earth's, uh, Earth's water is not fresh water, but sea water. Fresh water is limited, but many people waste and pollute it. You now know that your body mainly consists of water and that without water you, can, you cannot survive. But we humans have continued to use water carelessly as if, as if they were on an endless supply. It is about time to stop and consider how we can save our precious fresh water, the source of life. で、コメント チャンネル登録しなかったら